this experiment will be divided into two parts, the reaction and the purification of the product. These are the chemicals to be used in this reaction. Weigh the acetinilite into a conical flask. Directly weigh the powdered acetinilite in a conical flask that has been placed on a balance. Record the weight of acetinilite used. Corrosive chemicals are always located in the fume hood. Use a volumetric flask to measure the amount of liquid chemicals needed for the experiment and record the volume. Look at the liquid meniscus at eye level to get an accurate measurement. Measure all the liquid chemicals needed in this reaction and record their volumes. The chemicals labeled A, B and C will be added to the reaction as shown in the next scene. Powdered acetinilite is mixed with glacial acetic acid. Then, 5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid is added to the mixture. Continue to stir the mixture until all the acetinilite has fully dissolved. Once the solid has fully dissolved, place the conical flask in an ice bath to cool the mixture. Then, dip a thermometer directly into the mixture. Continue to cool the mixture until the temperature reaches between 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. When the mixture reaches between 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, be ready to add fuming nitric acid. With a pasture pipette, add 1 ml of fuming nitric acid dropwise into the mixture with simultaneous stirring. You need to ensure the mixture remains below 25 degrees Celsius. Once all the acid has been added, take the conical flask out of the ice bath and allow the mixture to stand at room temperature for 30 minutes. Weigh the amount of crushed ice needed for the next step. Pour the mixture into a beaker containing crushed ice and stir using a glass rod. Rinse out the flask with a small amount of distilled water containing some ice. Observe any changes that happen. Then, Allow the mixture to stand for 10 minutes.
For the vacuum filtration step, a water pump is fixed to the conical flask attached to the bottom of the Hirsch funnel. For this technique, cooled distilled water is used to rinse the solid. Attention to the technique being shown in the video. First, you need to wet the filter paper with a small amount of cold distilled water. Pour the precipitate into the Hirsch funnel. Rinse the glass rod and beaker of any remaining solid using cold distilled water. Leave the solid to dry over vacuum in the Hirsch funnel. Transfer the dried solid into a suitable size round bottom flask for the next part 2 video. Methanol is used as a solvent in this purification step. Add a minimum amount of methanol into the round bottom flask. The liquid should fully cover the surface of the solid which is approximately between 15 to 20 ml. The volume of methanol to be added depends on the amount of solid obtained from the reaction. Whenever heating organic liquids, boiling stones of between 5 to 6 pieces must be added to the mixture in the round bottom flask. First, attach the rubber tubings to the condenser before fixing it to the round bottom flask. Place the round bottom flask above the heating element. Water enters the condenser from the bottom and exits at the top or at the higher end of the condenser. Switch on the thermal heater and start the reflux. Observe the reaction mixture.
The solid will start to dissolve in the hot solvent and the mixture will boil. Let the mixture boil under reflux for 5 minutes. Notice the solvent condensate dripping back into the round bottom flask from the condenser. Next, always use preheated glassware to filter the hot mixture. First, turn off and remove the thermal heater from underneath the round bottom flask. Let the boiling settle down for 5 seconds before removing the condenser. Pour the hot mixture over preheated filter paper and glassware. Solid should not form on the filter paper if the filter paper and glassware were adequately preheated and the mixture was hot. Once the filtration is done, discard the filter paper. Observe what happened to the mixture in the conical flask with the change in temperature. The solid formed in the conical flask is then filtered through a Hirsch funnel again, followed by rinsing with cold methanol. Leave the solid to dry under vacuum suction for approximately 5 to 10 minutes. Take note of the technique and the product obtained. Weigh an empty vial with the cap attached and record the weight. Carefully transfer the solid into the weighted bar.
calculate the product weight using this equation.